Here we have the graph of a function f and its derivative f prime is shown as a dashed graph right there. But if we actually take this, watch this. Here's the slope of the tangent line drawn the f right there. The value of that red arrow, see rise divided by run? The red arrow is the slope of that tangent line. And if we keep the same x value right here and we take that derivative, look at this, we can map it right there. The output of the derivative f prime is identical or is the same as the slope of that tangent line that you see right there. Let's actually turn the trace on. Watch this. As we move along this function f, you'll see the slope of the tangent line now is more and more negative. Hence, the derivative is decreasing. It's still a negative land down here. But now, we uh, come to a point, watch this, watch this. Again, at any point, the output of the, the slope of the tangent line is the output for the derivative function right there. But watch what happens here. Now, the derivative is positive. The function is increasing at this point, the function f, that is. And if you look at this, right? Right here, the slope of that tangent line is the value of that blue arrow, and it is the output of the derivative as you see right there. Again, derivative, instantaneous rate of change, slope of tangent line, those terms are all synonymous. They all mean the same thing. So if you're struggling with derivatives and calculus and you, need, and you want this resource, check out that tiny URL right there, and you can enter any function you want and analyze this derivative as much as you'd like.